You can do your development either using Xamarin Studio or Visual Studio. Xamarin Studio runs on the Mac or on Windows, and it's modeled after Visual Studio. It supports iOS and Android on the Mac, but Android only on Windows. Visual Studio is Windows specific, and if you're using Windows, it's a great choice for app development. This is particularly true if you're already familiar with the IDE or have a significant investment in other tools that plug into it. Visual Studio with Xamarin support allows you to develop for all three platforms, iOS, Android, and Windows Phone. However, iOS has an additional requirement. Apple licensing requires that we do the building of the application on a Mac with the Apple SDK. That means you'll need a Mac to actually do the final compilation step. Any modern Intel-based Mac will work. The primary requirement is that it's capable of running Apple's development tools. So check the current requirements for Xcode before laying down any money on hardware. Xamarin allows you to drive the build process using Visual Studio and Windows, delegating the required parts to a networked Mac machine. This is done through a software server process that must be installed under your Mac, known as the Xamarin Mac Agent. Visual Studio connects to this process over the network using SSH and delegates a portion of the build to the Mac. The Mac can be located anywhere you like and can even be shared by multiple Windows machines as long as only one is using it at a time. The server agent will act as a coordinator and spin up multiple processes on the Mac to control the build process, running the simulator and supporting the iOS designer in Visual Studio. This not only lets Xamarin conform to the licensing requirement, but also allows Xamarin to use the same Apple SDK tools that an Xcode app uses, so we always ensure that the package will run properly on your iOS devices. The progress of agent launches is all reported in the Xamarin output windows in Visual Studio. You can look at this using the Show Output from Xamarin group. There's a one-time setup process that you'll need to go through to connect the Mac host to your Windows machine. When you create or open an iOS project with Visual Studio on Windows, the IDE will attempt to connect to the Xamarin Mac agent. If you've already established a connection in the past, it will remember that connection and try to reconnect. If it's unable to connect, or you've never connected to a Mac agent, then you will be prompted to connect to a Mac host. Visual Studio connects and interacts with your Mac using secure SSH login. Remote logins are disabled by default on most Macs, and so you're going to need to do a little setup before you can connect to the Mac host. The connection wizard will walk you through the necessary steps to turn on SSH support. The first thing you'll want to do is log on to the Mac that you want to use and access the Sharing Preferences app. Then, select the checkbox next to Remote Logon, and make sure that your user ID is listed among the allowed users to remotely access this Mac. Once you've got your development environment set up and you can build your app, you're ready to run and test it. There are two ways to do this, and you'll likely use both of them in the course of developing your application. First, you can install your application onto multiple physical devices that you own. There are some links to instructions in the additional resources dropdown that you can use to set up your devices for development. Second, you can run the software on simulated devices on your computer through the use of emulators and simulators. This is actually the most common way to test your application because simulating the environment tends to be a little faster than using a real device, particularly for the build, run, test loop that we often find ourselves in as developers. Also, simulators can replicate a variety of form factors and versions, allowing you to test the software on different types of devices that you might not physically own. However, you shouldn't rely on a simulator to replicate exact hardware conditions. Always make sure to test your apps on real devices to make sure that everything works as expected. We've covered the basics of installing Xamarin, but there are some additional notes available, some walkthrough videos, and troubleshooting tips available in the additional resources dropdown for this page. Make sure to check these out if you have any trouble.